In 1955, Werner Brown and his army team lost the bid to launch America's first satellite as part of the International Geophysical Year. But that didn't stop Werner von Braun from developing a way to launch a satellite anyways. What he did was come up with a system that used the redstone rocket as the base. The elongated redstone is the first stage, and then three upper stages of nested sergeant rockets, the last stage being a single sergeant. He hid these in plain sight under the army's bureaucracy. Because if he changed out the fourth stage for a test bed for re-entry vehicles, it would just be an extra excellent test bed for re-entry vehicles. He masked what the true purpose was and tucked them away. On September 19th, 1956, he launched one of these rockets as its faux purpose, a test bed for re-entry materials. But the Pentagon was super worried that a rocket this big with this many stages might be trying to sneak a satellite in orbit, which was super not allowed. So the Pentagon actually sent a representative to Cape Canaveral to make sure that the fourth stage was a dummy, that it was loaded with structural elements and sand as ballast. They didn't really need to check on it. This rocket lacked the guidance system needed to put it in orbit. It was only ever going to go up and down. But it reached a peak altitude of 682 miles, which is almost 1,100 kilometers. This was excellent proof for Van Brown that his stack could work, and he still had foreign storage. So after the Navy's Vanguard attempt at launching the first American satellite failed on December 6th of 1957, he had three months to get one of these ready to launch. And he did. And his team got Explorer 1 in orbit as America's first satellite. 